Warning, this program is intended for adults only. What you're about to listen to contains explicit language, sexual topics, and don't be surprised if you get wet. You've just tuned in to Pussy Boss with your host, Victoria Lynn. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Victoria Lynn, and you've just tuned into another mini episode of Pussy Boss that I like to call Random Pussy. And tonight's guest is no other. Please introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I am NSFW, LA drag king extraordinaire. Ooh, known love that. As the cure for by curiosity. Okay, please do explain <laughs> that because I would like to know the cure. <laughs> You know, every performer, like you or burlesque and drag performers, people will come up with taglines, like something to be known by. Yeah. Um, and for a while, I was going by like the shape shifting showboy, but it was a little <laughs> bit too hard for people to say. Uh huh. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay, how can I live my best, like, by pride life? And it was like, <laughs> you know, it's so funny because as a, like, as a woman or a person who was born a woman who dresses up as a man, uh-huh. men get vulgar, like like really like really forward and flirtatious with you really? when you're dressed up like a guy. Really? Mm-hmm. Now, okay, so I've seen different versions of this, and I know our listeners out there are just not aware of Drag Kings, which I'm super excited I'm to... I'm happy to spread the gospel. Me, me too. Like, I, you know, I literally found out about this like two weeks ago. I have gone to queen shows, like been into all that, but never in my life has anyone ever said, there's kings. Uh. And so I love that. And I find it interesting that you say men get more turned on because the um, queens I were talking to, they were saying when they're a boy, they're, the men don't get as turned on, but when they're a girl, they get really turned on. I wonder if it's like this, like knowing that the gender role has been switched, you know what Something I mean? Something like that. I mean, I wonder if it's some sort of like latent bisexuality on behalf of like these guys who will just straight up and like, just like straight up come over and grab your crotch and be like, oh, what you got going on down there? And it was like, whoa. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, are you, finger quotes, straight? Sir, yeah, because you have like a package or something yeah, going on there, right? Yeah, I wear like a, you wear, it's so funny because like you, you it's, I think everybody's seen a dildo, right? Mm-hmm. But like as a drag king, like you're a guy, you don't want to be walking around with a constant heart on. Yeah. So you have like a, some people use socks, uh-huh. some people use different, like different stand-ins, but they actually manufacture like, um, Flaccid dicks. Oh, for like real? Flaccid penises. In different sizes? So you can Different decide. sizes and colors. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's insane. I never thought about it. I just figured it was socks. You know what I mean? Right. And just, it's like to see, especially to see like a man's face when they like <laughs> see it. Like it, they're a little bit threatened by it, I think. I maybe. bet they are. It's funny you bring this up because so my dad and I, I always bring up my dad on the show, which is really weird. But <laughs> my dad and I are really close. And my dad... um and I were talking about, because I was explaining to him how when I started the show, it kind of was more geared towards women in the LGBT community. But then as I started to like really talk to people from all different lifestyles, I realized that really the issue or what the show is more about is how society has put us into roles. Because the truth is, is what is male, what is female? Because I was reading an article, if you look at um, the animal kingdom, there really is no differentiation between oh, yeah. male and female. And there's gay stuff all over the <laughs> animal kingdom. Like yeah. when people argue like homosexuality isn't natural, it's like, oh, okay, so male lions just, what, don't have sex with other male lions? Or like... Do they? Uh, yeah, they do. Um, they're, they're, oh my God. I, think I love that like fact. Over like 40, probably way more, but I know like... I think at least 40 species where homosexual behavior has been documented. Um, do you know about bonobos? No. Okay, so bonobos are like, uh, they're like primates that are pretty much as close to like human, like DNA wise, uh-huh. as they're gonna get. Like even more than chimps. Wow. And bonobos just like. Fuck anything. <laughs> 
anything all the time. Like the idea, <laughs> the idea is that, and, and it's, seriously, it's it's fascinating to look this up. Like, um, if bonobos are fighting with each other, then it gets to the point where like the whole tribe is fighting, and they're basically like, "Look, guys, let's figure this out," and then they just fuck. They just fuck to like work it out. I mean. I think this is, they might be on to something. Yeah. I'm just saying. And so, like, female bonobos will, like, rub the genitalia of other females, and, like, they will perform oral sex, and, Damn. like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's serious stuff, and, um... I, I I learned about this in like a college biology class, so uh, you know using it stuck with you forever, it's right? Stuck with me. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's so funny to see like how how you know like human. We, we think like we're so sophisticated. We're human, you know. Mm-hmm. Like we're so evolved, but then you figure out like nah, we're just animals. We're I just know. Out there trying to get off. And and seriously, eat, like the rest of the animal kingdom. And that's what I said to my dad. I said, think about it. We will have to eat, we have to shit or go to bed, right? And we have to fuck. Like, those are the three things to live. So I said, isn't it crazy that out of our main primal instinct, one of them being to fuck, we can't talk about without people being like, <gasps> we don't talk about that. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, like, it's funny because my dad was also like, he was like, um, so, well, I'm just saying that's because it's against society norm. And I said, what makes you think that what's normal in society is what's real? Because people are so weird about their sexuality True. that... The, your next door neighbor who you think has a happy home, happy life is really, you know, hooking up with who knows who at the hotel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and the further you push these instincts down, like, the like uh-huh. the crazier people get when it finally comes out. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. That's why you hear about, like, oh, surprise, surprise, like, this, like, conservative Republican <laughs> congressman was found with a rent boy and cocaine in a motel room. Like, at this point, like, those sort of stories, they're kind of repetitive. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, it's so interesting. The, the history of sex just alone is interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, t- this week's topic, even though we went into already some great things, <laughs> is actually grooming. So I would, I would like to know this because first off, let's start because I think this is important when identifying just because people are confused when they hear the word drag king. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, straight, bi, well, bi, I assume you're bi based off the bi curious Mm -hmm. or you consider yourself non-binary? So um, there's a lot of terms to break down and like, and I am never offended at anybody for asking questions because I'm happy to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really nice um, to have people want to understand. I was born a woman and I identify as a woman. So I think of myself as cis, I'm a cis woman, but I'm also a drag king and so I dress up like a man. I cross-dress for fun and for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Um, For me, it's a piece of my queer identity. Like, Mm -hmm. when I say queer, I mean that I'm attracted to all genders. So not only men or women, but also people who don't identify as a particular gender. Mm -hmm. Or for people whose gender feels different than their birth sex. Like, I'm basically, I'll just fuck anything (laughs) if I like you. (laughs) But not everybody is like that. There are plenty of drag performers who are, like, lesbian. There are drag performers who are trans. Mm -hmm. Um, And I've even met the occasional straight drag performer. So... Um, I think what people do can sometimes be different from who they are. So the reason I ask that is because I'm wondering with your personal grooming, if there's like, since you seem to, in a sense, have this male persona you like to take (laughs) on, right? I mean, we all know like in general right now, what's hot in the female world is at least, you know, pretty much waxing or basically Mm -hmm. even laser hair, like Mm -hmm. just getting it all removed. And then... You know, worried about shaved armpits, shaved legs. Like, are these things that bother you? I mean, honestly, people are allowed to have their preferences. But also, um, you know, if I... I've never had an issue with another woman where I felt like she was making unreasonable demands on my, like, personal grooming habits. Uh Anytime I meet a guy who likes a bald pussy, I just look at him and I'm like... 
why? (laughs) (laughs) And also, like, are you going to commit to the same standard? Because that's a lot of upkeep. I agree with you. I mean, (laughs) here's my only reason why I prefer a man to be pretty well kept. Because... Mm -hmm. When I'm giving head, if you want me to like literally like go down as far as I can, I'm not trying to get no curly cues. You know what I mean? Like I don't mind doing it for you, babe. But like, and and now I've never gone down on a woman. I've like gotten close, but then but same thing. I would think like, and then plus I was telling my one girlfriend, you know when your pussy hair gets too long and you'd be sweating in the hair. Oh yeah, I know. I remember you guys were talking about that in yeah. another episode. Yeah. And I think that's totally valid. You know, for me, would you tell a girl like if you were with her, would you be like, look, you just need to like clean that? How would you? Because oh, I feel like guys would be mean about it right like yeah. I feel like a guy would just be like ew oh my god I don't know I think that that's a great question because everybody has an idea of what they would do but then also like in the moment yeah. you have no idea Maybe yeah you just freeze up yeah but um I will I'm, I'm trying to think if I've ever been in it you know what okay okay <laughs> so I have been in a situation where I felt like the woman that I was with, like the situation was not like 100% clean down there. Mm. And it wasn't, it wasn't like offensive. Like there wasn't, there wasn't really any fluids that I encountered or any like (laughs) solids that I encountered that I shouldn't have. But, um, but you know, I just kept my mouth shut. I just went ahead and just you did. did it. Yeah. I feel like I would be the same way because I wouldn't want to offend somebody. I mean, I let me think if I've ever... Okay, so I've never, like, actually gone down on a dick and been like, it smells really bad. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. I have had somebody come in my mouth and it'd be so gross, I spit it back on them. It was, it was like... It was like... Like... Like somehow bad come, like how it went bad, like like rotten, fucking dirty, <laughs> dirty. Oh my god, maybe it just was so long that like like, like it uh, had been so long. Uh, I don't know what was in his diet. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad, but I've swallowed a lot of cum in my days, right? Like I should know <laughs> at this point what it tastes like. So when something's off, I'm a little worried. I mean, and I get, I feel like. You know, no one's expecting someone's cum to taste like cinnamon buns, but also, like... <laughs> what did that be amazing? Like, you know, like, I, I, I feel like you can be forgiving of a lot. Yeah. So when it's really that bad, yeah. like, yeah, people need to make some lifestyle changes. Yeah, yeah. Like, Have you ever um, been with anyone who had, like, hairy aeolas? Maybe I have hairy aeolas. Do you, do you, do you? <laughs> to say. I mean, I'm just We saying. don't discriminate. No. Um, I mean, hey, girl, I pluck a lot of body hair, okay? This is grooming. I'm getting real with it. I be plucking body hairs because I'm Italian. Mm. <laughs> I'm Italian. I don't think I need to say much more. I'm Italian. This hair may be bleach blonde, but the rest of the hair is dark as fuck. I'm German, so I identify <laughs> with that. I identify with that on a personal level. Yeah. I mean, yes. I'm all for the... I mean, I so I actually have gotten um, laser hair before, uh-huh. and I did it on my legs, and I did it on the whole punani in the back and all that. And it hurts so bad. It sucks. I've had it on my armpits. Oh, you had it on your armpits? Yeah, I got really it there too. It basically stayed. But my leg and my leg stayed a little bit, but uh-huh. my vagina? No. No, it came back, it came back with a vengeance. I'm like, no, bitch! <laughs> Fuck you. I don't want to have to do this again. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to them and be like, look, I paid for the full shebang. Right. Let's just keep a little strip. <laughs> just do the sides and then can they, can y'all just not do the whole How long ago was that? Um, that was like a year ago and then I stopped because I don't remember oh yeah I know I stopped because somebody liked it with a bush so I see. you know I see. I'm that t- people pleaser man very, pleaser. I mean it's very giving you know <laughs> so I stopped going and now it's back and I'm like are you gonna pay for my new sessions because <laughs> now my pussy head like crazy I gotta shave yeah. it because I hate shaving I don't know about you yeah yeah, so I remember, like, I, I, I've, I've shaved for a really long time. I remember I had this, like, formative experience when I was in fifth grade, and there was this girl um, who I used to hang out with sometimes, just as friends. Like, you know, we were just 
just like girlfriends like in school mm -hmm. um, and we were changing to go to the pool one time and she like watched me change and out of nowhere she's like you have hair down there and I was horrified <laughs> of course I know I felt like there was something wrong with me yes um, and so like pretty soon after that I just borrowed my mom's razors without asking and started to shave. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're like, when, you know, when you first start, you don't know any better. Like yeah. you don't have any good habits or anything. Yeah. And, and you know, if your hair is like long or thick or, or if you're just not shaving properly, the razor burn is terrible. The bumps are terrible. Still awful. Yeah, exactly. I can still not find the exact remedy to razor burns. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. for me, I always get them. And it's like, now I think I have a pretty good routine set up, but I'm I'm a landing strip kind of girl. Yeah, I think I'm I think I've become a landing strip just because I like to be in the middle, you know? Like I wanna make sure like the one that likes it bald when he gets it, he's excited still. And the one that likes a bush is excited when he gets it too, you know? I just wanna make sure all options are covered. And and, and I would say like as an equal opportunity <laughs> slut, like speaking for myself, um, I as a person who like enjoys going down on girls and guys, mm -hmm. like yeah, it's not sexy if you're going down on somebody and you have to stop every five seconds to right. pluck a hair out of your and teeth. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens, <laughs> but... So so we're just going to go right to the next question, which is going to be out there. Like, do, what about your butthole? Oh, man, the essential conundrum of butthole grooming. Yeah, butthole grooming. Because here's the thing, right? <laughs> I'll never forget this girl, I swear, okay? So I was like, I must have been 11, 12 years old. And I used to hang out with these like 16 year olds, right? Uh -oh, so I thought yeah. it was bad and all, right? And this girl was like, yeah, have you not started shaving yet? And I'm like, no, I'm like shave like here. And she's like, yeah. And she's like, but girl, what you really need to shave is your asshole. <gasps> she's like, you need to shave your asshole. Like go in there, shave your, so I'm like 12 years old shaving my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. I hate doing it. I cut myself so many, and I have a really fat ass. So right, <laughs> so right. When I shave my ass, like what I have to do is like, okay, first I have to suds up, right? Because and I have to make sure my hand is then unsuds, or I will scrape no. my. And I have to pull one cheek out, right? And like, cause I, cause I have to really pull it out, cause the butt's <laughs> so fat. <laughs> And then I shave through there, and then I go all the way up, you know? <laughs> I mean, oh, God. Okay, this is one of the things that I think, like, in the business, like, in the burlesque business, yeah. we'll call them civilians, you know, like, people who don't perform, they don't realize, is that if you wear a thong back costume, you got to do a butthole check. Yeah, and so definitely. And so I, 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 like, I like wearing thong back costumes because I like my butt. Yeah, and, love it. I um, do too. All my bathing suits, <laughs> fucking G-strings or thongs. You I don't know, care. And you got to love yourself. Love yourself, <laughs> girlfriend. Um, you, like, I do, I do shave the butthole on occasion. Um, but then when you're backstage, like, Strippers and burlesque dancers can relate. Basically, you just bend over in uh -huh. front of a mirror and spread your cheeks <laughs> and make sure yep. that you don't have anything back there that you don't want to Girl, be that's there. what I do before I go to hook up with somebody. Because <laughs> I want to make sure, I always spread my cheeks, make sure it's clean, because I'm like, look, if they down the lick ass, I want to make sure it's ready you for. You want to check, you want to know. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I will never forget <laughs> one of my friends that I used to perform with, um, her name was Anna Furlaxis. She's great. She's a UK-based burlesque performer. And she told me a story where she had been doing a show with a girl who was a pole dancer and told this this like horror story of a moment where the girl was on the pole performing in blacklight, went to do a full split, <gasps> and she had little bits of toilet paper oh, to no. her ass and pussy. And even worse, the club had black lights, so nobody could ignore it. It was oh, so visible. Oh, see, that's the worst. I know that's another thing I check. You know, you want to make sure you didn't like there ain't no leftover toilet paper residue because yeah. it sometimes happens. I mean, and you know, you know, pussies have folds. You get it. You gotta check. You gotta check. I really do love like just talking about like this, like with. A person who's pretty much a complete stranger. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But it just it just speaks to I think like universal truths about like the female experience. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and that's the whole thing, right? I mean, 
I guys don't understand because see, guys don't have to worry about hair the way that like it's put on to us. Mm -hmm. Like I can remember when I was younger, like third grade or whatever, the guy I liked, and I remember seeing his legs, and they were really hairy, and then I remember seeing he had hair on his toes, and I was like, ew, what the <laughs> fuck? Like you can't take care of that shit. And now that I'm older, I'm like, okay, I get it. Men don't have to. They don't give a fuck. They don't even. A lot of times, like. Maybe they don't even know. Like Th maybe, maybe he's never even realized that he has hair on his toes because he doesn't look for it the same way that like that's true. we're in the mirror <laughs> inspecting every single inch of our body. Yes. Like, you know, you get this one random hair. That's Girl, have you gotten the chin hair yet? Horrified. Have you gotten yes, the one the fucking older I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck you, you one random chin hair. Fuck I, you. I had an experience actually with... Um, a partner of mine where like I um I like we were we were hooking up and he has a lot more body hair than I do and there was this one dark hair stuck to my chest and he like went to pull it off yeah. like thinking it was one of his but it wouldn't go anywhere because it was mine yes. <laughs> I was like um excuse me sir that's mine thank I have you. one right there too right where you were pointing and it always comes up like where's my motherfucking tweezers at I have my I have my certain areas I look before I go meet somebody right like I'm like okay here and I remember, too, when I was in um, high school, I'll never forget, because I, I don't know, it's weird. It's like it's almost faded as I've grown older, which is different, I think, for most people, but like the mustache thing, right? Uh -huh. I'll never forget, I was sitting in sex ed class. I even remember the fucking class. And this guy, Jarrell, or J I think his name's Jarrell. And I actually thought he was cute, but I was like trying to play it off like I did it, right? Uh -huh. And like I turn and the sun hit. <gasps> yeah, you know how the sun hits? It hit the step. And he goes... What's that on your face? And I'm like, ah! I'm like, no. So from then on, I was always like plucking and da da da. And I'm like, God. I'm like, this sucks because it wasn't. It's not even dark, but it's like if the light hits it, yeah. All of a sudden, they see it. Yeah, exactly. Same thing with the occasional chin hair. You yeah. know, like you think you're fine in your bathroom light, and then you go out and you're sitting in traffic, and you're like, oh my god. I know. You know? I know. My girlfriend the other day, she's like, girl. We were out. She's like, girl. The chin hair is out and about. No! And I said no, and she goes, Do you want me to get it for you? You know that's your roll dog, right? When they tell you about the motherfucking chin hair, because it's embarrassing as fuck already. Yeah. But then they're like, I'm gonna pluck this bitch I for mean, you. I mean, hey, don't point it out if you're not willing to help me feed <laughs> it, you know? Same right? thing, like when you're doing the butthole check backstage, like sometimes if there's not a mirror, you gotta ask a friend. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, if it's yeah, like yeah. I want you to tell me and I want you to be honest about yeah. it. And like maybe I need your help. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, no, please tell me, because I need to know. Luckily, I have no problem with nose hairs. That hasn't come up yet, but I'm sure, you know, the eyebrows, they always been a hot mess. Mm -hmm. mm. And no ear, no, no, I guess, like, yeah, so really my weird hair habits would be, like, I, I kind of have, like, you know, I guess hair, well, actually, you know, it's funny, because when I was at Laser Away, that's where I got my laser done it, they told me that I was actually not that hairy, and I've always thought I was super fucking hairy. <laughs> They're like, actually, no, you're not. I'm like, but do you see this right here? Like, I'm like, I'm like, do you see my back? And they're like, um, yeah, that's just called peach fuzz, Victoria. You need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> it's true. We're all our own worst critics. I know. It's crazy. And that's what I think why I wanted to do this week specifically mm -hmm. is because, one, everybody has their own grooming techniques. Some women like to shave. Some women like to wax. Some women like nair, which is really bad for you, by the way. Did you? Why? Why is it bad? The chemicals in it. Oh. It I like see. is so bad for your skin. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I used to nair. <laughs> okay, it's a funny thing. I used to nair my butthole uh -huh. because it would be the cleanest if you use nair, right? Look, that can't have been comfortable. It wasn't. <laughs> um, it burned. <laughs> But I would do it again. I did do it again. I stopped it because somebody finally said, Victoria, it's chemicals you're putting on your asshole. Stop. <laughs> and then I was like, well, what if it like actually burns my asshole to where it's not, you know, sure. I still want to have a cute asshole. <laughs> not <laughs> As some cute. like battle scarred <laughs> butthole. <laughs> right? Like who the fuck was that? First off, can you imagine if you went up with a scar ball? And I don't know if you decide to do anal. I'm not really. But like, I at least, you know, a finger in the ass or something. They're like, what the fuck happened to your <laughs> asshole? <laughs> Extreme anal is what happened. Extreme anal. Your butthole's just looking like a war veteran. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen some shit. <laughs> 
Yo, I was watching this porn earlier, and, and this dude, this dude just literally slipped into this girl's butthole. Like, oh, it never so, works like that so easily. And I thought, girl, yeah. how much, how, how loose is your butthole? Because if the fact that he just went from pussy to butthole just like that. Okay, first of all, that's not good. That's not healthy for your pussy. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It's the other way. My bad. My bad. You don't want to go ass to they, pussy they without... They do that, though. I mean, yeah, unless they they're... Unless... Okay. Unless in the pornos, they're, like, cleaning their dicks on the side and then going back, in a sense. Yeah. Which they probably... You would think they would, I right? I hope they are. I really hope they God, are. But it's one of those things where you, like, if you're watching, just sort of like that, where you yeah. see the guy just slide right on in there, and you're like, okay, this is taking me out of it. This is not real. So something else made me... I thought of... I thought of... So the other day, I was watching this really nasty porn, and it had, like, five dudes in this one chick, right? And um, the guys were kissing her, and I'm thinking... She just gave head and licked all y'all's asses. <laughs> and now y'all are kissing. Do you guys think about that? Or you just go? I was like, I guess not. But in that. In the heat of the moment. In, in the heat of the moment. Ass to mouth is acceptable. Yeah. In the heat of the moment. I swear, um, Jay and Silent Bob is one of my favorite movies. And that's where I learned first about ass to mouth. Uh huh. And I think I was like. When I first heard that, I thought it was about rimming, actually. And oh. so I sort of like made an uncomfortable joke. And one of my friends was like, whoa, what are you into? And I was like, <laughs> oh, wait, that's not what that's about? <laughs> well, it kind of is, right? Because you have to do a rim job to get to the second, mouth. Second, second hand. Yeah, yeah, second hand <laughs> rim. Second hand rim job. Don't be, don't think you can't. Giving rim jobs can have, you know, some after effects, some poor effects. Can I ask you a grooming question? Yeah, go. Um, about men. Do you like guys with beards? No. Really? I don't. Because, like, the daddy thing seems to be kind of all the rage right now. Well, right? I like, so I like, like, a five o'clock shadow, but mm -hmm. that's about it. Um, I'm more into the daddy, like, the, well, let's just be honest. I like fuck boys, like, straight <laughs> fuck really? boys. Every guy, like, I, they are just all fuck boys. Everyone I've liked. Except for my ex. My ex, who I actually dated for a long time, he, I don't, I wouldn't consider him a fuck boy, but everybody since then... <laughs> but I like this. So they all look like fuck boys, but they're different types. So like one of the fuck boys I was with, like, oh girl, okay, tell me, Ugh. Tell me so, everything. So this fuck boy was light skinned. I like light skinned dudes. He was like six foot or whatever, right? He had nice lips. So the little earrings, you know, the fuck boy oh, earrings, yeah. the fuck boy cap, the fuck boy cap, the fuck I've boy. I've never sneakers. met a guy with pierced ears who wasn't just a little bit conceited, you know. Oh, very conceited. He <laughs> thought he was the shit, and he was a producer, so you know, oh, he just checked off all the fuck boy marks. And so then, um, so that was that fuck boy. Oh, I didn't tell you the best. So when I met him, he had blue eyes, and we talked about it because I was like, oh, I have blue eyes, and we, mm -hmm. I was like. Later, I find out that they're contacts. Oh, Major no. fuckboy. Ding, 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 ding. I should have known then, but I kept, I was like, I'm going to keep going with this because I don't mind brown eyes, you know? I was like, I don't mind brown eyes. I mean, hey, like, be entitled to your vanity, but also, like, don't lie about it. I know. You know? He, he didn't tell me for a whole month. <laughs> like, a whole month. And he's like, I can't lie to you anymore. And I was like, he's like, I figured you'd see on my Instagram. I was like, I did scroll down. I just figured your eyes turned black. Like, how mine do, you know? Like, because I have blue In eyes. Certain light, yeah. And so so that was one fuckboy. And then, you know, right now my taste is really, I'm trying to get away from fuckboys. But even though, so now I found myself more with just like, mm, a random guy that I would never actually mm -hmm. be with. But he still mm -hmm. has the same kind of qualities in a sense he's a little bit of a higher mm -hmm. I would put it on a higher level of fuck boy <laughs> as far as like he's he's stable he's got a job he's not a producer <laughs> but he's you know <laughs> but yeah that's that's really I mean my thing is my type like when it comes to guys is probably like more like baby face or something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I like this I like I like guys who like to me like look like they can fuck just point blank I think that's what I like and it's it's funny because it it's different you know like it could be it, it has very little I think to do with 
what someone's build is or what their style is. There's no, just like a it's a swag certain, to yes, me. Exactly. Like the right one gets me on swag. Like even though yeah. the they're well, that's why I always think I end up with fuck boys. Cause and by the way, just to throw this out there, I think there's fuck girls too, and I may be one of them. Oh yeah, and there are also like <laughs> lesbian fuck boys, which is like a subcategory. Yeah, oh yeah, what know? are they like to deal with? <laughs> Holy fuck! Because I feel like I they mean, could mind fuck you even more than a fuck. Boy. It's like a Ruby Rose type, right? Oh, like fuck. the Justin Bieber her. lesbians, like the ones who have like the cute haircuts yeah. and like the swagger. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, what's the girl from the L word? She had me when I first. Shane. Yeah. Shane. I'm so glad that show's coming back. I'm like literally only watching it for her because I'm like Shane oh I love you and I watch Ray Donovan uh-huh. for her too uh-huh. like I'm like oh yeah my, she's so the good. shit and she's so, so hot good. yes exactly and that is the type like yeah. that is the like irresistible type but but like getting back to like this idea of like a guy who looks like he can fuck yeah like you can't you can't like really put your finger on it like I've been with like guys who were like skinny right like Mick Jagger types yeah. but like actually attractive in the face and um, and they were really good in bed. And then, like, I've been with guys who were, you know, like, fit. And they, like, had, they, like, looked like maybe they were good yeah. in bed. But they, they weren't were duds, you I know? I had someone like that recently, like, big, tall dude. And I was like, yeah, his dick's going to be big. I was so excited. <laughs> and then, like, we finally hooked up. And I just was like, like, I don't mind doing a lot of the work because I enjoy pleasing but there was no, I don't know, there just wasn't. Meet me halfway. Yeah, yeah, meet me halfway. And then he's like, like literally when he was like, I'm about to come, I'm like, please do, because you're boring the fuck out of me and I want to leave. I literally got up and like got dressed and left. And he was like, you don't want to stay? Watch me. No. Mm-mm. No, I'm good. Thanks. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. And like, I'm like at this point, like, because he doesn't even go down on me. Like, I'm like, why even come over? Oh, yeah. See, and that's another thing. Yeah. Like, all these guys, like, and this is my problem. I like to suck dick, like, just straight up. Mm-hmm. Like, but, like, guys, so, like, I'll go suck someone's dick, and then they won't return the favor. And I'm like, what no, the fuck? that's not a good look. It's just so, and it's a common look. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's so funny that, like, you know, you you have a lot of, dudes who are very like outspoken about their love for eating pussy personally like as a woman I love having my pussy eaten word and I love going down on other women and like you know when a guy's like oh man like I love just like sit on my face blah 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 I'm just like yes thank you there Mm -hmm. needs to be more men like you in the world and then there are guys out there who are just like "Eh, it's not my favorite thing and I'm like how are you not turned on by getting someone off? I know. It's so good. I know. I think those are the guys who just haven't done it with the right person. Yeah, I guess. Or maybe because it took me selfish. a long time to feel comfortable to let someone in between my legs. Like, I think the first time I really let someone eat me, I was like 19. Oh. Which I think is, I, I figure is late. I don't know. Well, like, when did, when did <laughs> that you doesn't sound that sex? late. Next. Um... So, that's like a touchy subject, (laughs) but it would have been, it was when I was like, uh, like really started, like maybe like 15, 16. I see. see. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so like that, but, but for me, like I just never, until I was literally 19, I was never had a boyfriend. I had one boyfriend all my life. Mm, And like when I met him, I was drunk. Okay, I took him home, girl. I was like, I just, and he couldn't, we had some issues having sex because we had been drinking. (laughs) And so he went and he went down on me for like six hours, I swear. It felt like that at least. And I was like, I'm in love. I'm in love. I mean, And that was when I let somebody, and that was the first time. And then ever since then, it's like, you want to go? But uh, yeah, but, but the problem is, is that there's just not enough men doing it. Sure. Because it's really, I mean, they just want to, like, pound you out. And, like, I don't mind that. But, like, sometimes, like, honestly, you're not, your dick's not that great. And, and I would say now, as a woman who has had sex with other women especially, where I think for most of the women that I'm with, that is the centerpiece. Like, mm-hmm. that is usually how lesbian sex goes. Yeah. Um, if a guy's not down to go down on me, like, next... Yeah. Next. I'm sorry. I'm not interested. I Next. feel you. I can tell you this much. Like, my man, who I'm with, whatever, however we end up doing that, but 
he's going down on me. Yes, I'm not. I am not. If that's not a part of it, like, no, we're not bringing another woman so she can go down on me. No, bitch, you go down on me. You go down on me. And there's really, there's really no excuse for a not doing it because it's. I was listening to your oral sex episode and you were talking about how many people have oral sex and yeah, I think that most people under the age of what, like 30, 40, like yeah. you've done it. Yeah. You know that it's a thing. Yeah. It's not one of those things where you're like, what, people do that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, everybody knows that that's on the table. Like yeah. that's a thing that you can do. Yeah. And then also too, like to not be, to not try and be good at it. You know, like, that's another thing where I'm just like, do you even care? Like, yeah, no, (laughs) I know I felt that's how I felt sex was when I was younger, especially is that I was just having sex in a sense to please these guys Mm because I wasn't getting I definitely was not coming when I was younger. (laughs) I had no idea. I had no idea. And I didn't know what to do when you got on top. I didn't understand Mm -hmm. all that. Like, you know, I wish somebody had told me, Mm -hmm. but who's going to like your parents think it's weird to be like, hey, look, this is how you ride a dick. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) But it would help. Shit. Maybe we... Not- Even just to have someone, like, to have an adult that doesn't necessarily have to be your parents. Yeah. Like, just to be able to, like, have... Or, or a resource or something. I don't know. Um, I'd like to start um, how-to, like, videos. Pussy Boss how-to. How to ride a dick. <laughs> how to eat pussy. How to suck dick. Like, right? I think you should. And I just don't know how I can useful. visually do this without actually fucking <laughs> somebody. Because let's be honest, we, we, don't, we aren't ready to go into porn yet. Like, that's a whole other level. I want my, I want my, I want to sell, like, Kim Kardashian first. <laughs> so I make a lot of money like she did off of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Maybe some, like, clever, like, representation or with, like, figure, like, stick figures. Oh, that's something. true. That could I don't be know. Funny. But yeah, no, there's, there's just so much information out there yeah. that, you know, like for, and, and for women too, because there are women who don't like to go down on other women who still consider themselves like bi or queer mm-hmm. or lesbian or what have you. Like, you know, if you're just, I don't know, if you're not making an effort to get the person off that you're with, yeah. um, then I don't really think you can think of yourself as good at sex. And I'd much rather... Sorry, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I agree. I'm just... I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> like, sex is supposed to be about, like, both, like, everybody or multiple, whoever the fuck's involved. Like, it should be fun and, like, yeah. you should be all pleasing each other and looking out. That's why, like, <clears throat> I hate seeing, like, well, all these, like, gang bangs and, like, I, not that I would well actually i might not care if the guys started hooking up <laughs> so i started i went the to i go the off topic all the time i was at a gay bar recently and i was watching i never watch gay porn ever and i had a few to drink and i was just feeling a little like out of it anyway so i just kind of watched the tv and then before i knew it i was like getting turned on and i was like whoa were they playing gay porn oh they were oh, oh they were and it was like three dudes like it wasn't just two dudes it was like three dudes wow. And I was like, wow, this is kind of turning me on. But I, but the thing is, is that I think that's kind of like how I feel when it comes to people who are willing to be open with their sexuality. There's there's a lot of things that can turn us on, even things that we don't think can. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think the people who are like, oh, I'm a lesbian, but I don't. Well, see, I shouldn't. I can't speak for them. But I would assume by the way you're saying it's like, well, dude, then why do you want to? Like, I mean, why? Right. Because you want to please your partner. It's about pleasing each other. Exactly. And I think the best sexual experiences that I have had have always been situations where the person that I'm with is not just in it to, like, come and be done. Like, they're in it to, like, play and explore and, like, discover things. And, I mean, let's be honest. How awesome is it when, like you you're like a a person who's reasonably sexually experienced and you're with somebody who does something that you've never had done to you before and you're like holy shit yeah oh my god you just changed my life yeah yeah so good yeah yeah 
No, I'm totally with you. I, I love when shit like that happens. I get excited. Yeah. Well, it's been so great having you on this Thank show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on. And um, tell everybody where they can find you on Instagram. Okay, so everybody, please feel free to follow me at NSFW. That's E-N-N-I-S-F-W. NS like tennis. <laughs> um, on Instagram. Awesome. The joke being that NSFW is... N S F W, not safe for work. Oh, yeah. okay. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Any shows coming up? Yeah, actually. So um, I produce drag shows with the rest of my drag king troupe, Man Candy, and we will be at um, Fault Line in oh. LA on October 30th. But um, if you follow me on Instagram, I have all my upcoming shows cool, posted. Cool, 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 cool. Well, we're going to try to come out to the October 30th Yay. event. I know we were talking about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this random pussy. And remember, guys, this is your girl, Victoria Lynn. And remember to keep patting that puss.